thought is that you might as well record because just recording in essence, you've got one chance and you'll never have that opportunity. Sure, my name is Stephen Toth, the last is T-O-T-H. I'm a sergeant with the California Highway Patrol in the El Cajon area office. Okay, and how did this all happen? When did this start? Uh, about an hour ago, we got reports of a traffic collision involving two vehicles, one with a big rig and one is a BMW you see behind me. Uh, through the course of the investigation, it appears that the BMW is traveling at high speed on Interstate 8, uh, rapidly overtaking the big rig. The driver of the BMW, tried to go to the right of the big rig instead of slowing down. Uh, misjudged the closing distance of her vehicle to the, to the slower moving big rig and ended up hitting the right rear of that big rig trailer and spinning out to its point of rest on the shoulder. So as of right now, uh, you can confirm that the deceased is a female? It is a female. It's a solo occupant of the vehicle. She appears to be probably in her mid to late 20s. Okay, and what speed or alcohol factor? Yeah, according to witnesses, she was traveling at 90 to 100 miles per hour before impact. Um, so, yeah, she just misjudged the slow-moving vehicle. So, besides the obvious in the accident, how did she end up passing away with uh, spin out? Did she roll over? Did something hit her? Yeah, well, she she uh, hit a portion of the underride bar, the protection on the big rig. But at the angle she hit the back of the big rig at, she actually the top of the BMW is actually taken out by the right rear corner of the trailer. So the underride bar is designed for a, like basically a rear end to front end collision. And she hit it at probably about a 45 degree angle. So the vast majority of the damage that you see is actually from the trailer, the corner of the trailer itself. Uh, was there any sort of racing involved? Were there any other cars involved that anyone reported? There was a report of a Jeep that was uh, involved with the BMW further down, but the Jeep was well ahead of the big rig at the time of the accident. So whether that the BMW is trying to catch up to the Jeep or something, we don't know. Um, but according to the, to the big rig driver, the Jeep was ahead of it when it got hit by the BMW. And no injuries to the big rig driver? No. Yeah. Uh, and let's see, I'm trying to think. This has started around 11 o'clock. I'd have to check the dispatch logs to be sure. I think it was about an hour ago. Okay. Anything you'd like to add, sir? Nope. Just please drive safe and abide the speed limit. Thank you very much, sir. Yep.